but then you, you've written a couple of articles on uh, the Browns assistant coaches. One of them is how the Browns culture is reflected in the development of the assistant coaches. Take us through that and what you found. It, it's something I've been really interested in as last season kind of went along. And, and this Browns coaching staff has obviously some veterans like Bill Callahan and, and Joe Woods, but there's a lot of young coaches on this staff, you know, Callie Brownson, Drew Petzing, you know, we can just go through a list of, of young up and coming guys that Kevin Stefanski and Joe Woods brought in. And, and I think coach development, we love to talk about player development, but I think this is an organization really centered around coach development, which does two things. One, it shows young coaches, you come to Cleveland, you're going to get developed and you can go on and do bigger and better things elsewhere. But the other part of that is when that happens. So when a coordinator leaves to be a head coach or a position coach leaves to be a coordinator, you've got people in the building who are ready to move up and, and step into those roles. So it's very much a culture of giving coaches opportunities to get better, to learn things. And, you know, eventually, look, everybody wants to be a coordinator, a head coach, eventually get to where they want to get to in the league. You kind of touch on it. It's very interesting because there are a couple coaches like Mike Prefer has been around forever. Um, you know, a head coach, Bill Callahan has been a head coach, been there, done that. I'm not sure that, that he's actively pursuing that again. Um, but it's a young organization that kind of, you know, when you look at Andrew Barry is young, Kevin Stefanski, a young head coach. So it's very interesting that there is youth, that they are still trying to develop kind of a succession plan, if you will. Yeah, and I, and I think because of the youth of the staff in the front office and the coaching staff, it's a very open-minded organization and, and there's a lot of um, like open doors in the building, obviously with COVID, all these guys weren't together all the time, but you know, guys are able to go into, you know, a coach is able to go sit down with Andrew Barry and chat with him or even go into Paul DePodesta's office when he's in the building. You know, there aren't these barriers put up. Guys spend a lot of time together, you know, talking through things. They want ideas. As, you know, Drew Petzing put it to me like, you know, if you have 30 guys with different ideas, that's okay because the goal is to have all those ideas and have someone like Kevin Stefanski be able to take them and make sense of them and, and kind of decide, you know, what he wants to use. And that's sort of how you develop as an organization. And, and that's really the impression I got in, in talking with some of these assistants. It's almost like it's, um, and it's not surprising because you have a couple of Ivy League educated guys. It's it's like it's being run like a Fortune 500 company. Come on in, let's sit down, we'll have a little think tank, and we'll decide what the best course of action is going forward. Is that the sense that, that from what I'm hearing you say, that's kind of the way this organization is being um, driven? Yeah, it's, it's not guys looking over their shoulders, and, and it is guys being willing to, to put their ideas out there and, and let people hear them. And, you know, the other the other piece of that is, of course, you've got to have strong leadership at the top who's willing to kind of take all of that stuff and, and filter out maybe some of the bad ideas or some of the things that just might not work. And that's where Andrew and, and Kevin and Paul come in. But it is that open-mindedness and that willingness to not only be teachers, but to bring in a bunch of ideas because look, this offense might look different this year. And a big part of that is because Kevin Stefanski tasked his coaches to go out and, and get better and, and learn new things. And you bring that back into your building. And like you said, it's like a fortune 500 company or a think tank or, or whatever you want to call it. You're just marinating all these ideas and Kevin Stefanski can kind of choose what he choose what he likes out of them.